Reading aloud to your child increases and enriches your child's vocabulary. In this video, we will be exploring vocabulary enrichment and how to provide opportunities for your child to develop his or her vocabulary through the consistent practice of listening to a read aloud. Excerpt from Oxcart Man by Donald Hall. Then he sold his ox's yoke and harness. With his pockets full of coins, he walked through Portsmouth Market. He bought an iron kettle to hang over the fire at home, and for his daughter, he bought an embroidery needle that came from a boat in the harbor that had sailed all the way from England. And for his son, he bought a barlow knife for carving birch brooms with, and for the whole family, he bought two pounds of wintergreen peppermint candies. What's a yoke and harness? asks the little voice with wide eyes aglow. Books are full of sentences. Sentences are bursting with words. Words that your child will know and words that your child will not know. These questions are excellent segues to grow your child's vocabulary. Because vocabulary encompasses words and their meanings, reading aloud to your child enables him or her to hear how words are used in sentences within the context of the story. Vocabulary surfaces within language skills, so the more a parent reads to his or her child and talks with them about what is read, the better a child's vocabulary will grow. Children's books indulge with colorfully artistic pictures, sketches, and photographs, so learning new word meanings by finding them in the illustrations is a breeze. Pointing to a picture and associating it with an unfamiliar word will enhance a child's understanding of what the word means. For example, while reading The Oxcart Man, a parent could say, look, you see that wooden bar across the ox there in the picture? The parent can point to the ox cart man next to his cart. The child might respond, oh, that's a yoke, but I thought it had something to do with an egg. The parent can then use this opportunity to explain that the word yoke has two different meanings, but in this story, yoke means the ox's bar that attaches to the cart in the picture. Using picture books to launch short conversations about the meanings of unfamiliar words is another great way to build a child's vocabulary bank. Sometimes, like in the case of the word yoke, the child learns the unfamiliar meaning of a word with the story's picture and confirms or corrects his or her guess about its meaning too. The conversation that ensues could be an excellent vocabulary teaching moment. Many more unfamiliar words will emerge as you read aloud to your child. Sometimes a child may not even need to ask you what an unfamiliar word means because the picture or the context will clarify it for him or her. Using the pictures when reading a book aloud enables a child to figure out word meanings and independently do this without necessarily stopping to ask. Once he or she has a sufficient vocabulary bank, parents can introduce reading chapter books aloud with more words and fewer pictures. There are so many lists of wonderful chapter books to read aloud to young children out there. In addition, clues within the context of the story will enable children to predict what unfamiliar words mean just by using the known words around it. For example, if a child did not know what an embroidery needle was from the ox cart man, he or she could listen closely to identify the clues within the following sentence that explains its meaning. His daughter took her embroidery needle and began stitching. Again, glancing at the picture on the page would solidify the embroidery needle's assumed meaning and reassure the child's confidence that he or she had guessed its meaning correctly. Developing your child's vocabulary by reading to him or her every night before bed will substantially impact his or her language enrichment and reading development. To learn more, visit slowandsteadygetmeReadyForKindergarten.com.